What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as you guys can see in the top right corner, we have hit level 28 on this season of my team, which means we have unlocked this pink diamond, Eric Bled. So we'll rip this guy right open and uh, we'll check out his stats. I have not seen anything on this card. There is the nice pink diamond glow we love. We'll check out this card because I haven't actually looked at his stats and badges at all. I'm not sure if you guys have before watching this video, but we'll have a glance together. Number two from the Phoenix Suns, Mr. Eric. Bledsoe, there's a 95 overall, obviously not the fan, most, the greatest point guard you can have, but he's still a pink diamond, he's still a reward for this season, we'll go have a look at his stats. And here it is, number 2 from the Phoenix Suns, 95 overall, Eric Bledsoe, 99 offense, 99 defense, 6 foot 1, now right off the bat, 96 driving dunk, 89 three balls, not fantastic, but still very, very good for Eric Bledsoe, 95 driving dunks here, we'll be able to get those speedy dunks we like. 92 ball handle, very, very good there. Block isn't going to be all there. 90 steal and 96 perimeter defense. That perimeter defense is very nice for a 6 for one card. Can get a lot of those bumps on the taller cards and stuff like that, which is very nice. Obviously, rebounding, we don't expect that to be there. 96 across the majority of his acceleration and speeds there. And a 96 lateral quickness as well. So very, very good for that card. Now, he's Hall of 24 Hall of Fame badges. That's very surprising for this card. Uh, being a pink diamond, I, I mean, seeing that it's released more, more recently, it's going to have a lot more than a lot, a lot of other pink diamonds, but we can see here a lot of good cards here. Highlight film, Dimer, he's got Pick Dodger, Clamps on Hall of Fame, Interceptor, Intimidator, Posterizer, a lot of really good badges here on Hall of Fame, and also another 28 gold as well. So we'll jump into a Triple Threat Online game and try score all 21 points with this pink diamond, Eric Bledsoe. Alright, and here we go. Now I know this guy has Vince Carter, Nikola Jokic, and Giannis, so quite a good lineup here, but straight off the bat, this card is very, very speedy off the dribble. I can tell you that much already. I don't think he has the curry slide. I, I don't think he does. This guy's playing very good defense, although he's actually claiming quite quite high here. We'll try to get a spin. Try to get that shot to go. We green that little extended shot there. And he's the first two there. So, uh, interesting. He doesn't have the curry slide. Not all cards need the curry slide. We know that. Uh, but very interesting to, to note right off the bat that he doesn't actually have it. So, we'll try. See, it, that, that behind the back's quite slow compared to... Obviously, you don't need the curry slide, but like if I dribble with David Robinson and I did that behind the back, it'd definitely be a lot faster than Eric Bledsoe. So definitely something to keep in mind when using this card. Alrighty, another drive here, blowing past the defenders, and we get that driving dunk to go. So that high driving dunk rating is really coming into effect here. We can see that there's a lot of uh, possession there. This guy's shooting majority of the time. He's uh, going for these uh, very very long threes. So we'll try to stop them so we can win this game because I really want to try get that Julius Randle. We'll try the jump shot a little bit. Quite a fast jump shot. I laid at that one then. Very, very fast jump shot. And we do get the first one to go there. So I know this guy's going to be shooting half-court shots. So we'll try to defend him there. I'm not sure who he is. I'm not, I'm not boosting anyway. I have no idea who this guy is. Try the jump shot again. I laid it again. So it's quite a speedy jump shot. I'm just not timing it correctly at all. So we'll try to get a little bit better at this, uh, at using this jump shot. I'm going to point out straight away, this card is actually very, very fast. Especially off-ball. This card's quite speedy. He's not the fastest card in the game. He's definitely not the fastest point guard. But he's definitely got a lot of speed to him, especially that lateral quickness is coming into effect as well. Like, if I went off ball at the moment, you guys would definitely be able to see how fast this card is as this guy is attempting another very long three. We might try... I was going to take that shot then. I was going to I was gonna try to throw an alley but I want to try to get all 21 with this Eric Bledsoe. That guy was closing out Vince Carter. Unfortunately, we don't get that one to go, but we do get the board back. I thought he's going to jump there. We'll try and make another move here. Give me a sec. We'll get a bit of the stamina back. Try and make a move going right here. We break the defender. Go for a fade accidentally. Not going to lie, I didn't mean to do that. I think a lot of people have that issue. And that guy's going to hit a deep three. So we're going to try... Uh, like, look, I mean, he's not going to be the greatest point guard. But for a free card, he's honestly not too bad. Uh, but we'll, we'll play around with him a little bit more. Try to get a drive to go. I think he's kind of realized that we're trying to score all 21 with this card. So he's going to be defending quite high here. Uh, so we might need to pass it up here if we get the chance. We'll try to get a bit of movement here with this KD. Try to get him to go one way. We do get him to go one way. We'll try this. And we dunk it over nearly... I think it was both Jokic and uh, Giannis there. And we get a... Oh, nearly get a steal right off the bat there. As he's going to shoot another deep three. We, we've been we've been getting quite, a, quite good on defense here. Might try another drive 
I probably could have shot that, but the, I, I'm not as confident with the jump shot straight up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. His jump shot, it, it isn't the most greenable jump shot. It's definitely not the best looking jump shot. But the one thing I will complain about, like in terms of a point guard, is this behind the back. Like it is so slow. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna like. It. Obviously, you don't need to have the curry slide, but it, it does help a lot to be able to use uh, a fast behind the back move. So unfortunately, this Eric Bledsoe doesn't have that. But we'll try him out a little bit more and see how many more points we can score. All right, I was going for a little, a little stop there. We might try a spin inside if we can get that to go. The shot is no good. He's popping back out to the perimeter. Take our time with the shot. Try our best. And we don't get it to go. So that, that well, it was an 89 three ball, I'm pretty sure, from memory. That's really coming into effect here. I don't have any boosts. All my boosts from my coach are uh, coming on defense. I've got Mike Budenholzer. So he, it's not going to be the greatest. Uh, like, no, no immediate offensive boost. As we get an acrobatic layup to go. I actually meant to pump fake that. I'm not going to lie. I meant to do a pump fake but we end up doing a 360 reverse so we'll take that but we've got 15 points here with this Eric Bledsoe so far really enjoying this card uh, but there is obviously those few little things that do come to effect Alrighty, a nice contested shot there. I wasn't expecting that to go in, so I didn't prepare myself to commentate that. But very, very nice uh, nice uh, finish there. I think he had Slithery from memory. I can't remember exactly. But we've got an opportunity here to throw it down, and he doesn't go for the alley-oop. I can't remember if he has... Um, I can't remember if he had Lob City Finisher at all. But I thought that might have been a perfect opportunity there to, to get that three to go. I know this guy wants his three balls, and he does get that one to go. So I might... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with Eric Bledsoe. We'll try score as much as we can with him, but unfortunately we might lose this game. We'll try go for that shot. I thought he was going to run past me there. So that was a bit of a terrible shot, and this guy could end the game right here if he does choose so. He's going to pass back to Vince maybe. No, he goes for the long ball with Jokic and doesn't get it to go. We get the rebound though. We're going to try find Eric Bledsoe on the break again. Try drive with him maybe. Try oh no, he's oh he's going to cut those off. I would be able to win this very very easily, especially okay, you guys know that I always try and get the 21 with these players. We'll try run past Jokic. Jokic is too fast and somehow strips the ball off of this Eric Bledsoe. He's shooting from very, very deep. He ne I thought he was actually going to make that for a second then. We'll try. Eric is just going inside. I don't know why he's going inside. Out in the perimeter. He jumped there. That's good. But we get stuck on the yarn as he's just too long and wide. A bit unfortunate there. We'll drive inside. Get the driving dunk to go. And Jokic. I'm surprised Jokic didn't block it then. So one stop here and we can actually win this game. Alright, we have a chance here to win this game. Absolutely 21. I was going to say 21. 21 0, but 21 piece this guy with Eric Bledsoe. We, we, I mean, to be fair, he hasn't had the worst defense on him. The mid range shot is good, and we nail that shot. So we send that guy home and we score all 21 points with that pink diamond Eric Bledsoe. So from that gameplay, you guys can see there's a few issues with this card, but we'll jump back to the main menu and give you guys my final review of this pink diamond Eric Bledsoe. Alrighty, guys, time for my final review on this card. Now, the Eric Bledsoe card, he is a free card that you can earn from being level 28 this season. However, I don't think like, obviously he's not going to make a comp lineup. He's not going to do anything like that. For a free card, he's quite nice to do. Maybe some uh, from Phoenix challenges. If you have to do any like threes with Phoenix players, he'll definitely be able to do that. 89 three ball. It's not the greatest, but if you get open, you will be able to nail it as we did in that gameplay. And also that 95 driving dunk does come into effect quite a lot. I want to have a quick look at his tendencies as well as that is something quite important as we learned uh, yesterday with the Dominic Wilkins, a 95 driving dunk tendency is very good, and a 95 flash as well. He does have a 95 alley -oop. One thing I want to quickly check though is if he has, um, if he has. Um, alley, the, the alley-oop badges that we need. I don't think he does. He has love finisher, he has love finisher on gold. So maybe maybe it was just a poor choice of, uh, of oop for me in that game there. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I've been trying to upload as frequently as possible. And all the support is greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.